Some additional thoughts on the 2, 3, 4, 5 string family, the dominant diminished, 13 sharp 9, flat 9, flat 5 sharp 11 on F sharp. Um, so we're going to add a few more um, things to this. We're going to add a few more ideas to this. Here is the G, D sharp, E, and B flat. So this is the C7 sharp 9 type chord, but it comes from a G diminished. And we're going to now move from here, this G diminished, and from this, we're now going to move two voices. We're going to move the G to the B flat and the B flat to the C. So we will get this chord, uh, which is G, excuse me, B flat, D flat, E diminished, and a um, C on top. And this is uh, a movable form, obviously, for uh, dominant. And we could jump off anywhere. We could jump off on A flat minor if we wanted, considering that. And then we're in F minor. Uh, additionally, for this chord, if we lower the C back down to A, we have a sort of a standard uh, diminished major 7, and sometimes people grab a uh, another note on top of that, and that's a nice sound as well. So that's a common dominant substitute, either one of those, and again, the, the inner voice can collapse in for any of these. F sharp can come in. Interesting because we learned this voicing as a diminished major, a diminished major nine, excuse me, minor major nine, B flat, D flat, A, and C. And, and that can collapse in. D flat, E, C, and E flat moves to C, A, uh, C, E, A, and C sharp. So in a C, 13 flat 9, moving it to B flat, minor major 9 to A, 13 flat 9, and then resolving the D. So that's uh, um, another type of, uh, also the inner voice can move like that, so that's fine as well, where the um, B flat, D flat, A, and C, the A moves to F sharp. Um, moving forward with some, some additional ideas, um, we'll start to look at the more triadic based ones, and there were quite a few of those. We said before that we had a C triad over an F sharp, so F sharp, C, E, and G, and, and then we also had an E flat triad to give a 13 flat 9, so those are, all of those are movable again with the bass note too, so now, once we're on the E flat, we can move that up to an F sharp. That's a C over F sharp. So those are all, those are all usable moves. And again, we can interject any of these things. So any any embellishments from any of the chords. So any of those work um, in embellishing the diminished dominant uh, type harmony. We can also look at these. This is interesting. Uh, this is an A over a C. So this is C, A, C sharp, and E. And uh, that's a C13 flat 9. We move up to an E flat 7, which is D flat, B flat, E, and G. And then move down to an E flat 13 flat 9, or C over E flat. So this technically is A over C, E flat over D flat, C over E flat, and then we can start the process over, moving it up by minor thirds, and then just resolve, in this case to a D major type chord. So those are some other triadic moves. Um, here is another one. Uh, this is an A over B flat, so that's an F sharp 7 sharp 9 moving down to a F sharp over A, which is A, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So, and then moving, moving
moving it down to minor thirds. So that's a typical, we're up. Resolve to an F. So those are all movable by minor thirds. F sharp, seven sharp, nine, A 13 flat, nine. E flat 13 sharp 9, F sharp uh, 13 flat 9, resolved to B in that case, perhaps. Okay, so those are some other basic ideas with, with this scale. Uh, it's very flexible. Here are some additional thoughts on the 13th chord. All of these with those type of moves. Um, the inside voice. Um, for example, here is a B flat, E, A, and C. So that's a C13. Now, if we move the um, tenor voice, the E to F sharp, refinger the chord, we have, we have a um, B flat, G flat, A, and C, and move to E, move to E flat. one of those chords, the F, the A flat, or, you know, or it could be minor, it doesn't matter, it could be an A flat minor chord, if you like, it can resolve to an A flat minor, A flat, this is D, D minor, or diminished, um, uh, lower 11th, uh, excuse me, raised 11th on a D minor, it doesn't matter, or in a B here, so. Additionally, related to that is this. Uh, we're just moving the B flat up to D flat, and this sounds like a suspension to the diminished major seven here. So this is D flat, G flat, A, and C. So that's a nice one. So it works, it's, and you can. And that's a nice move. And again, it, it comes straight from the uh, octatonic diminished scale. Um, and that would give a, a few more basic ideas to the potential of the diminished scale on this string family, of which there is uh, really an, an unlimited amount of ideas that you could you can do from this so that's the f sharp or g flat uh, dominant diminished 13 sharp 9 flat 9 flat 5 sharp 11 2 3 4 5 stri string family on f sharp or g flat